I scoot in just a little bit. You, not you should be, but just you two. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes it helps. No music, but we are live today from Waterloo's Public Access Studio. It's Ms. Rocky and Shabiva live. That's right, we're bringing the good stuff from a North End perspective. Today's guests are Barbara Prather, Northeast Iowa Food Bank, and guest co-host, Mayor Brittany Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and welcome to Friday. You know, you know what time, time it is. is. Boom! Shaka laka laka laka. Yes. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna clap already. Hey, Yay! Right. You got to clap for the best show on the internet. It's the best. Yes. Hey. It is the best show on the internet. You know, everywhere I go, that's what people say. Okay. You know. Must be true then, It right? is, it is. Okay. We want to welcome you. You made it. It's Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have a great show for you today. Mm -hmm. I'm Rocky. And I'm Shaviva. And, and this, this is North End, End Update. Update folks. Yeah, shout mm -hmm. out to our very, very, very special frequent viewers. And yes. they are Shaviva. They are Renita Wright. Hey, Renita. Lulitz Hair Lulitz, Essence. Lulitz, yes. Ruby Weems, our baby. Hey, cuz. Lisa Ambrose. Hey. <laughs> okay. Lisa Ambrose. Bye. Bob Dorr, Jesse Coughlin, Rodney Green, and Mike Hollingsworth. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for watching. Yes, there's always something good happening on the North End, and we know yes. the news has to tell you the good and the bad stuff, but you know what? We're here for the good, right? We are always here for the good, and make no mistake about it, folks, we are the podcast that you can see. Yes, and Shaviva, you yeah. know, we've been having a great time running all over to these mm -hmm. different restaurants. Ooh, and yes, we have. Yes, the mm -hmm. first week of December, we went to Half Pint. Mm -hmm. and we had a couple of libations. Yeah. And then we had some of their great food. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like bar food, but yeah. it's really good. Yeah, that kind of good, crunchy yeah, we had the appetizers, yeah. and mm -hmm. then I think you had, ooh, that patty melt. Yes. So that good was stuff. really good. Mm -hmm. And then last week we went. Yes, we went to, to Sookies. Sookies. Yes, mm -hmm. and if you haven't been or heard about Sookies, you need to go try that roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, and she had some greens with cabbage mixed in. Good homemade <sighs> Uh, sides, you know, Corn good bread. home cooking. Everything was delicious. It was delicious. And yeah. so today we're going to check out, so watch our Facebook page because we're going to check out um, uh, Grandma's Hands at the grocery mm -hmm. store at All In Grocers. So yes. check out our post on that. Have you not been there yet? No, okay. you have. I have, about three or four times. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got some great guests today. We're going to have Barb Prather from the Food Bank and also Mayor Brittany Perkins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Standing in That'll, today for Mayor Quentin Hart. Right. That'll yes. teach him to not show up, right? We're going to make you mayor, Brittany. <laughs> no. <laughs> I vote for Brittany. No. All right. Okay, we're going to have a prize drawing as soon as we introduce them. You guys don't let mm -hmm. us forget. And also, yes. every Friday of the month of December, Shaviva, we're going to be given away. Right, a $25 gift certificate to a local business, um, something to just sort of make your holiday month a little bit sweeter, something nice and fun to do. And today, the $25 gift certificate that we give away is going to be from Rodney's Kitchen. Rodney's mm -hmm. Kitchen. Ooh, we. I wonder yeah. if he has that fried okra in the wintertime. Ooh, I yes. Love. Yes, does he? Does. he? Okay, because yes. I love Rodney's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to announce this real quickly because we want to tell you, first of all, our give it air will be Kwanzaa. What it is and what it isn't, we're going to discuss that with our guests. Mm -hmm. And our talking point that we'll ask our guests in a little bit will be. Our talking point. Oh, Good see. things come to those who believe, and mm -hmm. better things come to those who are patient. And the best things come to those who don't give up. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And before we tell you that, we're going to tell you about our big boom shakalaka booking bash. That's right. Yes. That's right. On January 1st, is going to be the big boom shakalaka booking bash. Are you ready to move your business to the next level? I mean, literally. Literally. Yes. Join us on New Year's Day and bring your staff, mm -hmm. bring your event calendar, um, and just come and enjoy some free food, music, mimosas, mm -hmm. drink specials. It's going to be a day party, y'all. We're yes. going to have at the networking. next level. At mm -hmm. the next level. Yes. 
229 East 4th mm -hmm. Street. Yeah. And there'll also be that drum circle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now, you know, if you, if you <laughs> hit it extra hard on New Year's Eve, don't worry. Get up in the afternoon on New Year's Day and yes. come on out and flex your hustle muscle. We know you got one. Right. You are a business owner. You are someone who's doing something in the community that needs to be highlighted. So we know you got that hustle muscle. So come on out and flex it with us. Right. Yeah. Even if you know somebody that's doing something great and you want them on our show, just come that's in, right. say hi, let us know. We'd love to see you there. Mm -hmm. All right. 1 o'clock, 229 East 4th. Hope yes. to see you there. Yes, indeed. All right. Newsflash birthday singer, uh, people. You know, um, Barb Prather, I've heard her sing, and I know she can really go, Shaviva. Okay. Brittany, she, too. Brittany. I don't know about Brittany. She was <laughs> off, too. But she's been on the show, and now she can't sing. But oh, she, see? We're <laughs> just going to bust okay. the mayor out like that. We're going to We made her mayor, but we know she can't sing. Okay. okay. But birthday people, we're going to make it happen somehow. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think it's time to introduce our guests. We've made them wait long enough. Yes, indeed. Don't you think? Yes. Yes. Of course. All right, and with TV Magic and Agnes, thank you. We got everybody in the shot. Welcome, Barb, with your singing self. Oh, I don't know about me singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do our best. You know, okay. you know the Stevie Wonder version? Happy birthday to you. I'll follow along. Okay. There you go. Okay. There I you love right her. I'll, answer. Be, I'll be a good sport. Okay. Right I love your confidence. Okay. Thank you. And... Standing in today for, or sitting in today for Mayor Quentin Hart, we have Brittany Perkins. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Yes. Now, Brittany, was this in your job description at all? No, I uh, guess as of the duties are as a sign. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> as a sign. <laughs> they got it straight. Job. Now you understand, right? So um, we, um, sometimes we want to let our viewers know that we want to support small businesses. Mm -hmm. So we like to buy things from um, from our viewers. And I think you have a little business. You do the blessings. To celebrate, yes. Celebrate, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, we buy things from you, from people like Brittany or whoever has like mm -hmm. a little small business to give away on our show. So mm -hmm. we wanted to ask people, if you want, if you know anything, or if you want us to support your small business, please email us at northendupdate at gmail.com, right? Yes, we would love to shine the spotlight on what you're doing because that's what we're all about, the good things that are going on in this community. So for, for those people who are naysayers that tell them, oh, there's nothing going on here, or everything is, oh, Waterloo, wrong. We got some great things and great people right here in this community. That's right. Yeah. Now, our talking point today, what we're going to kind of break the ice with and get you guys talking because you're kind of quiet. Shaviva talks so much. <laughs> Sometimes I can't get a word in it. Why? Yes, I know. I need a piece of tape for my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But Shaviva, talk about our talking point with our guests, please. Our talking point today is going to be good things come to those who believe, better things come to those who are patient, and the best things come to those who don't give up. That's right. Do you have any experience or what do you think about that statement? Wow, that's a great question. Um, when I heard it read before, I'm like, whoa, I can kind of relate to that. Um, you know, just working um, to alleviate food insecurity, um, not only here in Waterloo, but region-wide, um, it's hard work because um, it's not only finding food, it's getting people to realize there is a problem. Mm -hmm. And it's talking to people about how you can partner, how you can, you know, and there's, for every step that goes forward, there's steps that go backwards mm -hmm. because... Um, it's not always easy um, to bridge the next thing because somebody else might have a different priority. But I think the more patience we can have to re really listen and learn about the issues in our community, the more patience that we can have to really have great conversations to work to solve the problem together. Mm. And so for myself, even you know, getting into this work, it took me a while to find it. And when I find, found it, it made sense, and I'm very passionate about it, that to me there's no reason that 
anybody should not have access to food. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So you're saying that your patience often pays off. Yeah. Yes, and, I really believe it learned. often pays off. Yeah. And I probably tend to be more patient than a lot of people. <laughs> um, oh. But you just have to keep working and trying and, mm. you know, talking to people. And I really believe um, for whatever it is you're working on, um, if you just wait, good things do happen. Mm. Mm. I love that. Good things come to those, those who wait. wait. Right. Yeah, correct, that's why correct. they say that. How about you, Brittany? Can you identify with that today's talking point? I can. I think these words resonate with me. Um, they're a testament to my life. Um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I did give up. So, mm. I, so I like it's my my whole life in this whole statement. Like mm -hmm. because I didn't give up, I'm at the place I'm at, the stage I'm at in my life. Mm. Right. Yeah, perseverance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know that reminds me of our show. Mm -hmm. You know, and I yeah. really didn't want to make this parable, but I guess that does because, you know, we've been patient and, and now doors have opened. Mm -hmm. We get to do the show here in the City Hall studio and, mm -hmm. you know, we have a shine great a following yeah. and, and shine and we get to file, shine a light on all the good things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that patience and uh, stick to itness. Mm -hmm goes mm -hmm. a long way. How yep. about you, Chevy? What do you think about that? Yes, I absolutely agree. And when I was listening to you, Barb, what you said about sometimes you take a couple of steps forward and then there's one step back. Um, you know what? A couple of steps forward and one step back is not failure. That's cha-cha. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. And I love to yep. dance. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's Yep. I love it when things come together like mm -hmm. that. It might not feel great at the moment, mm -hmm. but it's the forward prog mm -hmm. progression. That, that ultimately wins out, so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. Okay, so you guys were supposed to not let us forget we're supposed to have a drawing, Shaviva. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right? It's time for a drawing right after our comments. Violet? All right, so our comment is from Miss Amy Cass. Hey, Amy. And she says, patience and persistence are key factors to success. Yes. yes, right. Yes, yes. Thank you, Amy. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Talk about our drawing. What do we have? Okay, for our drawing today, um, we're going to do two, aren't we? Right? Yes, we are. <laughs> we're going to do two. <laughs> I love it when she yeah. puts me on the spot. That's, okay, so you get to ring the bell. bell. <laughs> I got to say, this bell came all the way from Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes, yes, from Mother Ella Griggs, Godmother. <laughs> Yes. So the two things, the first drawing is going to be for a $25 gift certificate for, for Rodney's, Rodney's, Rodney's Kitchen. kitchen. Ooh, Get you yes. some of that fried okra yes. that I was and talking about. Since it has to do with food. Oh, <laughs> food. there we go. That's a great choice, Shaviva. One name comes out and $25. Gabriel Benson. Wow. How about that? Okay. Yay, Gabe. Super duper. $25 gift certificate. Don't feel bad. You can't read that handwriting because I'm. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> That's good. me, and it's not sure. the greatest. <laughs> okay, there you and go. This Thank one you. Is, yes, and this one is for the Boom Shakalaka. A wonderful Boom Shakalaka. Coffee cup, and you've got to have one, That's right? right? Those are great. Thank you. And who is that one for? Lanny Geasley. Who? Oh, uh, Lanny. Oh, Lanny, Lanny Gelson. gets Gelson. one. Gelson. Ooh. Hey, Lanny. Congratulations, Congratulations. Lanny. Yay. Lanny. All right. Okay, we got our drawing over. So now I think we're going to go ahead and talk about the Soul Town. Duh, we have to talk about the Soul Town. No, we got these congratulations. Did you hear oh, about the new grocery sure. store? Yes. And so mm -hmm. everybody knows about that. Um, Rodney yes. Anderson and Lance Dunn. Um, co-host, Madam Mayor, you want to read that? <laughs> um, <laughs> congratulations to Rodney Anderson and Lance Dunn on All In Grocers, who are awarded the Douglas Snyder Award for yes. promoting cooperative and community ownership, advancing equity, diversity, inclusion, and providing access through the efforts and providing a sustainability food source in undersourced community. Yes. yes. Now let's give awesome. them yes. a hand. Yes. All right. 
I know their head is spinning. They've been getting more awards and recognition mm -hmm. and, you know. Hard work pays off. Right. Yes. Persistence and patience. Right. Yes, indeed. That's right. Good connection, yes. And one more congratulations, and then we've got a comment, but congratulations also goes out to Astor Astor Williams, Williams who yes. was recently appointed president of the Waterloo Community School District Board. He was elected to the board in... 2017 mm -hmm. and for a long time he has served students whether it's in his role as a recruiter advisor for University of Northern Iowa or as a mentor to youth that are involved in sports. Congratulations. Yes, Astor. congratulations to Aster. All right, yes. and I wanted to say this too. Didn't I know I saw the thing where Corey was uh, standing with the baby and what was that they gave? Yes. They gave they a, name um, they're naming oh. a Mm -hmm. Part of the library? The, no, no playground the Irving Playgrounds. Yes. Oh, the school India. board. Yes, mm -hmm. it's going to be named for India. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. I just love it. You That's know, great. How we do have a, a comment. Please. Yes. We have comments. All right. Um, our comment comes from Miss Amy Cass, and she says, Congratulations to our winners. Oh, yes, okay. yes, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. We can count. That's our best cheerleader, is Amy Cass. If you don't know her, you should. You don't mm -hmm. know Amy. I may have met her somewhere oh, around. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now we're going to talk to our guest, Shaviva. Yes. We have um, our Give It Air, and we're going to talk about Kwanzaa first. Are you familiar with Kwanzaa? A little bit, yep. Little bit. I am, yep. We just kind of want to talk about um, what it is and what it is not. Shaviva, talk about Kwanzaa, will you? Okay, um, well, right off the bat, Kwanzaa is definitely a celebration of African-American culture and community. But what Kwanzaa is not, it is not a black Christmas. Oh. You know, I've mm -hmm. had people ask that before, and I've had people assume <coughs> that before, too. Hmm. But it's it's not. It's not a religious-based uh, holiday. Oh, that's it right. It is, in fact, though, based on um, values that are centered on uplifting the community. There are seven principles, uh, unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. Now those are all um, principles that, you know, they're universal. They're universal, it's not, yeah. That's not uh, specific to the African American community, but those, the way that they're put together specifically with this, with other cultural elements, is what makes Kwanzaa Kwanzaa. Okay. And on New Year's Day, that happens to be the last day of Kwanzaa, which will be faith. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit at our event on New Year's Day as well. Okay. So thank you for that and telling us what it is and what it isn't, because it's kind of um, interesting that someone would think it's a black Christmas mm -hmm. because it's, it's, a, it's not a religious, thing. yes. Yeah, one more thing that it is and isn't. It is a uh, opportunity exchange Gifts, meaningful gifts, maybe something that you made or something that really resonates with the person that you're giving it to. Somebody that loves poetry might enjoy a, a poem, a, you know, a book of poetry, a poem, you know, a journal for them to write things in, thoughtful things like that. It's not about how much money can you spend and then your situation is looking real kind of bad <laughs> going into the new year. That's not what Quants is about. Well, so, thank you. Brittany, talk about what you're doing um, here with the city now that we are all, you're representing the mayor. Tell us, what did the mayor want you to say today? Or <laughs> <laughs> is there a lot going on that we need to know about? Oh, well, you would know everything probably comes across your desk. Um, everything does come pretty much come across my desk. Um, right now, we're just wrapping up the the end of the year, um, Mayor is out um, in the community. He's at a um, a grant um, award, awarding a, some grant funding to someone at the moment. That's why he could not be present oh. here on live. Um, but um, we're just trying to, um, like engineering is finishing up some of the road projects. Um, community development is finishing up some housing projects because we have had some nice weather. Um, so they're still able to do a few projects here before the winter hits. Um, yeah, just a few projects underway. We're trying to wrap up for the new year. Sorry. I Good. heard that one of the bridges were open. Is that um, right? No, it's not open yet. Okay. Um, but they are. They have made some from 
really big strides and they're looking at the overlay at the moment oh. um, to do that but all the pillars are here for one of the bridges nice all the pillars are here by yes, <laughs> the pillars of our community because those bridges have been on down for a while mm -hmm. so it will yes. be nice to see them yep. back up yep. and running yep. mm -hmm. yes okay so barb we want to talk to you a little bit okay shaviva what do you got for barb yes 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 um I've seen you in the position that you're in for quite some mm -hmm. time, and you're sort of synonymous with what goes on with the Northeast Iowa Food Bank. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in the position that you're in? And talk about some of the services that, that they offer. So I've been with the food bank here in Waterloo since 1999, so a long time. Um, we moved here from out east. I grew up in Minnesota, however. Um, and um, we have a daughter um, who has graduated from college now and is gainfully employed here in Waterloo, which we're grateful for. Oh my goodness, but we promised, sure. Yeah, but we promised her she would be raised here. And we just love this community and we love everything that um, it brings um, to us. It's home to us. Mm. And so um, with that, um, you know, I came because there was a food bank. Um, I worked at a food bank in Washington, D.C. Mm. And just the concept of what we do, food is being wasted, people need it. Um, how do you put the two together? Mm -hmm. And while food is wasted, it's perfectly good food. There's nothing wrong with it. And so, um, you know, in 1981, a group of people got together because there was a need for a food pantry here in Waterloo. We be then became a part of the Feeding America Network. Um, so we network with 200 other food banks like us. But what we're, in, we're a little different is we're pretty program heavy. Um, and what I shouldn't say mean? heavy. I shouldn't <laughs> say heavy. We run a lot of programs where a lot of food banks just run food distribution. Oh. And so... We have the pantry that serves Black Hawk County. Um, we have a backpack program. We have our Kids Cafe program. That's what I wanted to, because yeah. I've witnessed that just yeah. perform miracles. Yeah. Um, Same with the backpack yep. program. I remember, you know, my kids bringing stuff mm -hmm. home. Yeah. And it, you know, if we can figure out where the highest need is and how to serve that, that's what we want to do. Um, our focus on everything we do is the person who needs the food. So when we make a decision of what type of food to bring in or what, we, what is coming to us, it's all based on what the person that we're serving. Um, you know, and it's hard sometimes because, oh. you know, when we first started, all the food was donated. Over the years, um, we're purchasing more and more because we need to get the right kind of food. Mm. Uh, we need to make sure it's nutritious. We need to make sure that... Um, if it has to be shelf stable, that it's not just a dented can, that it's kid friendly. Um, and so there's a lot of things and logistics that right. go into it um, to make a difference. But it's all focused on the person who needs um, that help at that point in time. And is, are there any, um, what are you doing for Christmas? Is there anything special that you do? Do you pass out like things to make a Christmas meal with or how does... How does I that work? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so our big distribution is Thanksgiving yeah. week, where we serve um, between 3,500 and 4,000 families right here in the Cedar Valley. Wow. Plus all the food that goes out to our other nonprofit organizations that we partner with, you know, like Salvation Army, St. Vincent de Paul, mm -hmm. um, other food pantries like St. Luke's in Cedar Falls, Nazareth, places like that all have food pantries as well, but throughout Northeast Iowa. Um, for Christmas, um, we don't do a special distribution here in Waterloo. What we do is we help supply all, a lot of the places that are doing special oh, distributions. Oh, I see, yes. Um, so the other day, um, Hy-Vee did a distribution of 550 hams. Um, what we did is we helped um, get the word out. Um, we contacted mostly our backpack partners at the schools to say, hey, okay, this is available. Heidi also did some marketing for it as well. Um, and so our role really at Christmas is to be the supplier to St. Vincent de Paul, Salvation Army, okay. other 
pantries and meal programs that are doing meals sure. um, for the holiday. Yes. Are, there, are there times of the year when the need is greater or is it pretty steady? Throughout um, that's a great question and I get that question a lot. Um, hunger happens 365 days of the year. Um, we see a bigger need in the summer. School isn't in session. Mm -hmm. um, summer, um, you know, kids go to school, and here specifically in Waterloo, there's um, there's um, meals and breakfast during school, but in the summer, um, kids are everywhere, so it's really hard to serve them. So um, we partner um, with various sites to do summer feeding. We augment what the Waterloo Schools does with summer feeding. But our pantry does see higher numbers um, during the summer as yes, well. Yes, I bet. Um, just because kids are around and, and people need extra help. Yes, yes. I always think of that commercial. The little boys singing, I like to eat, eat <laughs> apples and bananas. You know, those are my yes. go-to yes. snacks. And I don't yes. know, I'd be lost yes. without yes. apples and bananas. So it's just great that, um, that there is a, a need that's being met there. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you want our viewers to know? Um, I just want to thank you for inviting oh. me on the show. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, anytime we can work together to raise the awareness to the issue of hunger. Um, hunger is hidden. Unfortunately, I know what I want to ask. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> no, uh, hunger is hidden. Go ahead. You hunger, are. Yeah, hunger is hidden. Um, and a lot of times people don't realize what their neighbor is going through mm -hmm. um, because people are prideful and they don't want to ask for help. Right. And that's where I think a lot of the ways the food bank gives out food through other partners, through the programs that we have, uh, really helps streamline and make it easier for people to access food. Mm, well, that's good because we want it that way. Mm -hmm. What uh, what can the public do to support the food bank? Um, there's a lot of ways the public can do. Um, you know, obviously donate money, donate food, um, volunteer, but really be a strong voice mm -hmm. and talk about and learn about hunger and how it affects people and that there is a solution to it, um, whether um, it's you know, talking to politicians that hunger is an issue. Um, so we can have a strong nutrition title in the Farm Bill so we mm. can get strong funding for um, our um, nutrition programs that we have, like school lunch and school breakfast, like SNAP, which is food stamps, like yeah. the WIC program. Um, because for a lot of those places, that's the safety net. Mm. Um, right. And, you know, if that funding goes away, that's when people come back to the community, um, and that's when we really have to step up. Mm. But we're very grateful for the generous support of the community on helping us raise awareness, um, but also supporting us with funding and food and volunteer time. Well, there you go. Thank you. Now thank you, Bob, for coming and talking oh, about Thank you today. for the invitation. Thank you very much, and you're very welcome. And we want, I, what I was going to ask is I heard that you guys are spreading out. You're buying more land, because that's when you said thank yeah. you for having her. We saw you at that nonprofit oh, yes, get-together, yes, and yes. I had so much fun yeah. sitting with your family, yep, I think, yep, and some yep. of your friends. But we ran out of time, and I wanted to talk to you about what Shaviva wrote, the 24-7 Black business and entrepreneur mm -hmm. uh, accelerator. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. We got so much more to talk about, but it's time to sing now. We heard about that great voice you have. So. <laughs> I want to know who? who's telling you this. <laughs> <laughs> There's this bird that tells me every this week who can bird sing. This bird gets all the news from everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got the best birthday people, Shaviva. Yes, we do. Who do we have? We've got the Lisa Allen. Yes. Ajay Agbasi, Deb Borwick, and Emily Stowe. And Brittany? Um, Bobby Clark. Coastland, Willie, Willie S. Pugh, Candy Nard Nardine, and Ross Smith. Yes, and Rodney Bass Berry having that big comedy bash That's tonight. Great. Yes, Janice Durham and Lindsay Warhol Peters and Linda Ireland, our dear friend Linda. Yes. And we want to make sure that we make you feel real good. Now, you just follow along, okay, as well as you yes. can. Now, Brittany, I need you to sing way louder than what you're talking, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm sure you would agree. <laughs> Couldn't fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day you Come came on to be. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. You really can oh, sing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she was even over here harmonizing and stuff, right, Shabiba? Okay, so as seasoned women, we have learned a few things mm. and in life, you know, because we've oh, been yeah. around for a minute. And I have learned that no matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to hear that. What have you learned? Well, I've learned to acknowledge and appreciate the 98% that I did accomplish. There you go. Rather than the 2% that I didn't. Or the other way around. Yes. <laughs> 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 all right. Until next time, we want all of you wonderful people to keep doing way more stuff that makes you awesome. That's right. Like Barb and like Brittany. Because, because it, it makes, makes us all, all look, look good. good. We'll see you next week. That's right. Bye-bye.